and talk about histograms so within the show me uh, you have down there the histogram and what it needs is just one measure all right so let's select let's say quantity and click over here and here we have our histogram so if you are if you're aware of uh, histogram it's nothing but basically based on the bin size it is showing the frequency the count of the quantity so it's basically between 0 to 1.5 then or 2 and then from 2 to 3.5 then 4 to 5.5 how many number of quantity in each of the bin so so basically it is really helpful in seeing the the distribution of data and statistics so what some sometimes we really want to see is whether our distribution of data is positively skewed or negatively skewed how it is and accordingly you know we can make some inferences so if you are not aware about histogram i would suggest you go and have a little bit idea about what histogram is and how to really interpret it but let's come back about how we can further modify it and make it more meaningful let's say we are not interested here uh, about these bin size then what we can do is here is the within the dimension quantity bin has been created for us as we have created the histogram earlier if you would have noticed it was not present so what we can do we can click over here on this uh, drop down and uh, click on add it and once we click on add it it asks it's basically suggesting by default that 1.77 is the default or the suggested bin size but what we can do is we can overwrite this and make it more meaningful like let's say 3 well and click ok so what it is doing between 0 to 3 the bar is here that means anywhere the quantity was between 0 and 3 these were the number of quantities which were purchased anywhere but it was 4 5 and 6 this is the quantity which was purchased and 7 8 9 then this is the quantity which was uh, ordered by the customers so clearly we can see that uh, uh, wherever the quantity is between 4 5 and 6 those are the quantities which have been purchased a lot all right then you can definitely use the color the size the label and all of these uh, uh, cards that you have to make it more meaningful but uh, i just want to very quickly talk about that if you are not interested in seeing generally who, who is aware about histogram they do not like to see the zero one then two they like to see zero to three then to six then to nine then to twelve because these things really doesn't make much sense because you know between zero and three there will be one and two so how you can do that is basically uh, right click and go and edit access and uh, go to tick marks and here in the major tick marks make it fixed on every three units click apply and okay once we do that zero to three to six to nine to twelve 15 and that's how very easily uh, I can uh, create my uh, histogram and modify it as per the needs uh, to make it more uh, professional or uh, normal one like how a histogram has been created within any statistical chart or statistical program so that's that's pretty much about it I would suggest that uh, you play around with the histogram play with the bins because that's the important part you know the bins really decide uh, or identifying the right bin size is the key to to basically tell the distribution of data so i would suggest you do a little bit of study and then come back to tableau and make it a beautiful uh, histogram to impress your users well, that's pretty much all in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.